Chapter 4, Shipboard Practices and Procedures. At the end of this chapter the students will be able to, 1. Identify the different time zone. 2. Explain how ship clock works. 3. Describe the acceptable general appearance for crew members. 4. Understand the appropriate crew conduct. 1. How to express time, ship's clock. As your ship travels east or west at sea and passes between one time zone and the next, it is convenient for you and everyone else on board to adjust the ship's clocks to the time zone where you are actually located. As you pass from one time zone to the next, ZT changes by one hour. But do you advance the clocks one hour, or do you set them back one hour? The rule is, if you are traveling towards the west, the new ZT will be one hour earlier, therefore, you must set the ship's clocks back one hour. If you are traveling towards the east, ZT will be one hour later, therefore, you must set the ship's clocks ahead one hour. The ship's navigator or quartermaster should notify the commanding officer when these changes become necessary. International datelines so far we've been talking about advancing or retarding clocks to account for time zone changes as we travel over the oceans. Suppose your ship is in the Pacific Ocean traveling west. As you continue to travel west, you are setting your clocks back one hour each time you enter a new time zone. Eventually, you will lose 24 hours in a circumnavigation of the Earth. Because of this, a method for adjusting for the day lost or gained when you were traveling east is necessary and is accomplished by the International Date Line, which follows the 180th meridian. The rule for changing date when crossing the International Date Line is, when traveling east and crossing the International Date Line, you compensate by retarding the date one day. When traveling west and crossing the International Date Line, you compensate by advancing the date one day. Note, the date change is in the opposite direction to the hour changes you made as you passed into each new time zone. This date change is made by every vessel that crosses the International Date Line, regardless of the length of the voyage. Changing the date should take place at a convenient time that is least disruptive to the operation of your ship. 2. Maritime Communication the standard marine communication phrases objectives, to assist in the greater safety of navigation and of the conduct of the ship. To standardize the language used in communication for navigation at sea, in port approaches, in waterways, harbors and onboard vessels with multilingual crews. 3. General appearance and conduct for crew members in the cruise lines, and regulations in place for all crew members to live by. These policies and procedures govern how you should conduct yourself, how you treat others, your personal appearance, and your work ethic and performance. When policies have been violated, discipline is necessary. Here's what to expect from the code of conduct and rules for crew members. Crew members are expected to behave a certain way on the ship which is not only their workplace, but their home. Since you have the right to work and live in a safe and professional environment, cruise lines have put these policies and rules in place. Cruise ship crew grooming rules are also expected to adhere to personal hygiene standards and other appearance standards at all times. Most cruise lines have similar grooming rules, when it comes to cleanliness, hair care, shaving, tattoos, makeup, and jewelry. For example, crew member must be clean, and odor-free this includes hair, hands, nails, mouth, body and clothing. Avoid use of strong perfumes and colognes. Beards and mustaches are only allowed if kept well trimmed. Visible tattoos and body piercing are not permitted. Depending on cruise lines some of them allow staff position crew members to use or be in guest areas while off duty. But always remember that guests have first priority. 4. Your conduct, and how you interact with the guests can make or break your career. This is exceptionally important. To start, never argue with a guest. Instead, report any problems with a guest to your supervisor. Second, never cross the line between guest and crew member. Never invite a guest into a crew area. Avoid guest elevators. Also, be careful with how overly social you are, with a guest it might be misinterpreted. You are expected to follow all rules and regulations set by the management. Each captain has the authority to establish additional rules and regulations for his ship, known as captain's standing orders. 
Understanding the basic code of conduct for cruise lines may make you reconsider if ship life is for you. Thank you.